Hey guys, as many of you know, I recently challenged Doug Wilson to a debate on amillennialism versus postmillennialism, and here's his response. I'm going to be responding to a debate challenge issued to me by Keith Foskey, the um, recently crowned king of the amillennialists. This shows how little I know. I didn't even know eschatological positions could have a monarchy, but there you go. As the recently crowned king of the amillennialists, I've decided to issue a few decrees. My first decree, postmillennialism will now be referred to as fancy amillennialism. So here's the problem. If, if this is the king of the amills and he is calling us fancy, that doesn't sound like a debate challenge. That sounds to me like a concession speech, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So from now on, if anyone uses the hashtag datpostmill, it must be changed to hashtag fancy amill. Because as we all know, postmillennialism is just amillennialism with extra steps. And that would mean amillennialism is simply postmillennialism in overalls. For my second decree, all historic premillennialists and dispensational premillennialists must choose a representative to joust on the bow of Ken Ham's Ark every seven years between now and the time that Jesus returns. Finally, I want to issue a challenge to debate to the prince of the postmillennialists, hashtag fancy amillennialists. Douglas Wilson, Earl of Moscow, ruler of fighters, laughers, and feasters, I challenge you to a formal yet hilarious debate. Something tells me that this is not gonna be all that formal, <laughs> but I accept. Guys, this is going to be a lot of fun, so be on the lookout. It's coming soon.